Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Sacred Body Studio. My name is Fabi, and we are here again doing yoga with you. So remember that these are a group of four classes. There are small classes. Of course, you can do it in the morning. You don't have too much time to keep your mobility and your flexibility improving, but more than improving, to keep the mobility in your body. That will help us for our daily uh, activities, you know, like a or go up the stairs and walk, you know, simple tasks that we have during the day that we don't realize how much we need to have our muscles strong, but also able to extend and move. So that will release a lot of stress of our joints and our spine. So remember, if you have more time, you can do the four videos in a row. And if not, you just do 10 minutes, but try to every day do something for your body to help it to stretch, to release, and again, to maintain our mobility. So are you ready? We're going to start on all fours today. So let's go on to all fours, and we're going to start again, cat and cow. So keep your shoulders above your hands, hips above your knees, and we're just going to go cat and cow. So we go inhale, cat, stretch. And exhale, cow, stretch. And let's go for three. And exhale. Two. And exhale. And just one more. And exhale. Back onto neutral, call the toes under. Lift your knees. Go on to downward dog. And here we can just bend your knees and push our tailbone up. Once we keep your legs bent, just extend your back. We hold four breaths, pressing as well with your hands, but also with your fingertips. Inhale deep. Exhale. Let's go for three, two, and just one more. Slowly drop your knees back onto the floor. We're going to step forward with the right foot. As far as you can go. If you need to use your hand to move your foot forward, it's okay. Now try to keep your knee above your ankle. Now you can keep your palms or your fist on the ground. And we lift the back knee. We're going to hold here for four. Press with your big toes to balance the weight into your right and left leg. Let's go for three. And two. And just one more. Drop your knee on the ground. Raise your torso. Try to keep pressing with your feet to don't let the weight collapse on your knee. Your toes can be curled under or you can pre or you can point them away. But try to press with your feet to don't let the weight collapse on your knee. And here very gently, hands on our hips. And we're going to push our hips forward. Feel the stretch in your back thigh, on your left thigh. And we're just going to hold here for four. Breathe. Gently pushing forward. Let's go for three, and two, and just one more. Now keep you upright back again, and then drop your left hand beside the thigh, and we just twist toes to the right side. If you feel it's too much pressure on your knee, put a cushion under the knee. Let's hold for three, and two. And just one more. Remember your deep breath through your nose. Release, bring your hands back onto the ground. And we step backwards with this foot. And here we go again, cat and cow. Inhale, cat. And exhale, cow. Let's go for three. And cow. Let's go two. Cow. And just one more. And cow. Back onto neutral, curl the toes under, back onto downward dog. And here, bend the knees, 
to extend your back and push your tailbone upwards by pressing your hands on the ground, but don't only press with the wrist, press with your fingertips as well. Let's hold here for three breaths. Inhale and exhale. Let's go for two. Drop our knees back onto the ground. We step forward, left foot. You can slide the right knee as much as you can. You can keep your palms or your fist on the ground. We lift the back knee and we just stretch here for four. Inhale and exhale. Engage your tummy. Let's go for three. And two. And just one more. Now drop your knee, raise your torso, hands on your hips, and gently we push our hips forward. And we just hold it here for four. Feeling the stretch in our thigh. Three. Two. Just one more. Now we come back, we move the right hand on the knee, and we twist over to the left, and we hold for four. And three. Lift your chest. Two. And just one more. And we release our hands on the ground. We step backwards. Now here we're going to point the toes away. Bring the big toes together. Open your knees wider to go into child pose. And we sit in back. You cannot go all the way. Use your hands and put your elbows. Place your elbows on the ground to keep you pushing backwards to stretch your thighs. If you can touch your heels with your bum, you just rest on the floor. And we're just going to hold here for four. For three, you can always put your hands under the forehead if you feel more comfortable. Two. And just one more. And come back again onto all fours. Bring your knees together. Super. Now from here, we're just going to bend the elbows, lie down on your tummy. We're going to just stretch our thigh. So we take our right foot and we just press it in. Press your hips against the ground. We hold for four breaths. Inhale. You can hold both. It's okay. We just need to hold a breath. So hold here again onto the right for three more breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for two. And just one more. And release. And move your face other side. And again, we bend the left leg and we catch. You can rest your face on the arm or just on the floor. And again, when you're stretching here, try to gently press your hips onto the ground. We hold for four. And three. Two. And just one more. And release. Move your hands back again beside your chest. Push your body up and come back on two all fours. We're going to curl the toes under and we're going to go again downward dog. This time we try to keep the legs straight if it's possible or you still keep them the slightly bent. We're going to inhale by lifting the heels. Curl the toes under at the maximum. Exhale, heels go down without forcing. Now let's go for three. And for two. And down. And just one more. Drop your knees back onto the ground. We step again forward with the right foot. I'm just going to turn around because I'm going to do sideways. So we step forward. Remember, you need to help your knee with your 
your foot with your hand is fine. We raise our torso, super, arms come up, and then we drop the right arm, and we just stretch towards to the side, as far as we can go. And we hold for four. You can keep this hand on your hip if you feel more comfortable. Let's go for three. Let's go two. Your hand can go on the floor. Fantastic. And one more. And we release. Let's go other side. You can reach the ground. It's okay. Keep your hand on the ground. Or use a block as well if you have it. Or your hand on your hip. And we hold here for four. Four, three, whoopsie, two, and just one more. And some of you might feel like, oh, it's too much pressure on my knee. You can put a cushion, but what I highly recommend is every time you're in this position, press with your feet against the ground to engage your leg muscles. And move your hands onto the floor. You can keep your fists or your palms or your fingertips. And here we're going to go. Inhale. And exhale, we move the hips backwards, we extend the front leg as far as we don't feel pain, and we flex the foot. And inhale, back again, bend the knee. And exhale, straight, as far as you don't have pain, remember that. And inhale. Let's go for two. Release. And just one more. This time we hold the leg here. You can keep a bend. Remember, no pain. And we're just going to hold here for four breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three. Two. And one more. Now bend me your knee. And step backwards. Now here, we're going to back again to this position to sit in back, to lift your hips. Again, you cannot sit back yet, so you just hold, hold hands, place your hands on the ground and just sit in back as far as you can hold it without too much stress or pain in your knees. So we got this one, so some of you just here, holding here, and some of us, we go all the way, we lift the hips, open your chest, we hold for four. And three, two, and the last one. Release. Come back again onto all fours. And curl the toes under, back to downward dog. And we just go inhale, heels up. Exhale, heels down. Let's go for three. Down, two, down, just one more, and drop your knees on the ground, and we're going to step forward with the left foot. I'm just going to turn around. So left foot go forward, raise me your torso, and we're going to remember this part. Arms come up, drop your left hand, and we just reach, and we hold. You can keep your hand on your hip for four. And three, two, and just one more. Feel lovely a stretch in this area, which is a muscle called iliopsoas. That you really need to stretch it to have more mobility in your spine and strength as well. Let's go other side. So drop it. You can drop it on the ground, or you can keep it on the hips, or you have a block as well. If you have it, use your blocks. They're quite useful. And we just hold here for four, three, two, and always feel nice, never pain. <laughs> Come back. Now, again, your hands, again, if you have two blocks, you can put the two blocks to help you to a hold the ground in case that you cannot go all the way. So here you can keep your feet, your palms, or your fingertips. We go inhale to prepare, exhale, we extend the leg, we flex the foot to stretch our leg as far as we don't feel pain. Inhale, bend the knee, and exhale back. Inhale, and exhale. 
Let's go for two. And X. Just one more. And Excel, and this time we hold here for four. For three. Two. And just one. And release. And a step backwards. One more time, we're sitting back as far as possible. Some of us just here. Some of us, we just go all the way. We lift our hips and we hold for four. And three. Two. And release. I'm gonna go into the ground to just finish on the ground very nicely. So you swing the legs to the front, sit on your bum, bring your hands under the knees, and we're just gonna lie down on our back. Bring your knees close to your tummy, squeeze the knees towards your tummy, and here slowly drop your feet on the ground. And we open the arms just beside our shoulders, drop your hands, drop the knees towards to the right side as far as you keep both shoulder blades on the ground. Now here is one version that we can go, or the other one we can really drag the knees close to the arm, but it's important that you keep both shoulder blades on the ground. If the shoulders start to come up, just move your legs away and separate them, okay? Move your face opposite direction, and we're just gonna hold here for four, and three, Two and one more. And back to the starting pose. So remember here. So we can just drop the knees on the side, they are not together, or we can drag them closer, but we make sure that this shoulder blade doesn't come up. And we just hold here. If you want to use your hand just to press the legs, it's okay. Just remember both shoulder blades on the ground. If this is not happening, just separate your legs. Bring this one closer, but the other one just as far as possible. And we hold here for four breaths. Inhale deep. And exhale. Feel your body completely relaxed. And always when you are doing the stretches and you are holding the poses, scan your body. Feel which areas are tense, tight, and which ones are you releasing. Take just one more deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. And release. Bring your knees together. Lift your feet off the ground. Squeeze those legs towards to your tummy. And here, bring your hands onto your knees. Make a circle in opposite direction so you can open the legs. Then bring them away. Close and then towards to your tummy. And we just make a circle in opposite direction. Let's go for three. Two. Our last one, we change the direction, we just go four, three, two, and one. Great, everybody, squeeze your legs towards your tummy, lift the head off the ground, and we're rocking power forward to come into the sitting pose. Straight with your back, lift your chest, relax your shoulders, feel great, take a breath. Again, our posture, it really changed our attitude. So anytime that you feel curving, lack of energy, feeling too much stress in your upper back, feeling too much stress in your lower back, take 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and just stretch your body and it will change. Not only physically, but also mentally. It's going to change you. Thank you for joining us. So please subscribe, like, leave us a comment, and we'll see you in the next video. Namaste.